Since I've been back home from Spain, everybody asks me why I selected the city of Valladolid to study Spanish, and why I would choose it again if I were to repeat the experience. Well, I've talked about it so much that this time, instead of simply describing it, I have decided to show you how Valladolid won me over. Before I went, I did some research because my main goal was to learn Spanish, and I was looking for a place where pure and authentic Spanish was spoken. All the information I found led me to Valladolid, one of the Spanish cities where they speak a very correct Spanish. Not only does it have the added benefit of having a clear, clean pronunciation and intonation, but it is also the birthplace of the Spanish language. One thing important to me was that everybody who told me about Valladolid said that it was a young, modern city, and open-minded too. This is something I could see once I was there. People there are kind, friendly, and down-to-earth. During my time there, I made some really true friends. The people from Valladolid feel privileged to live there and are proud of their city. They absolutely delight in sharing with visitors all the fantastic sights to see in Valladolid. This explains why they like to take care of their city, its inhabitants, and its guests, whom they particularly like to please. Valladolid, in a very short period of time, makes you feel like a part of the city, to feel like one of the crowd. Valladolid is a young and modern city, and I made many friends. We always had interesting things to do, such as going to movies, theater plays, art shows, parties, concerts. While I was in Valladolid, I was able to experience the Seminci in person. Valladolid proudly hosts this important film festival and pulls out all the stops, making this grand international event truly spectacular. I was also able to attend the most important motorcycle rally of Europe, called the Penguins, which is held in Valladolid each January. Also, I went to the annual national, regional, and local pinchos contests. These hors d'oeuvres, which accompany drinks, can be quite tantalizing. I also participated in Fair Week in Valladolid, an unforgettable event that I am hoping to do again someday. Also, I went to many sporting events. I had a really great time doing the theme routes around the province. The route of the castles, the route of the tapas that I liked so much, the route of the wine that took us to many different and spectacular wineries, where I learned a lot about the wines of this area, and where five geographically protected Appalachian wines can be found, the most renowned being Ribera de Duero. There are routes on the official city tour bus. Routes which will show you the most remote corners of the city. Apart from achieving my goals of learning Spanish and getting to know the Spanish culture, the experience itself was incredible, and I would recommend it to anyone that has the same interests. Valladolid is very well prepared to accommodate Spanish students from other cities, as well as students coming from abroad. University education in Valladolid covers a variety of fields and is held in very high esteem. So much so that many Spanish students come to Valladolid from different parts of Spain to study. There is a very nice atmosphere in which to study and learn, and even the city organizes a lot of activities for young people and their education. Universities, academies, exam preparation courses, Spanish study abroad programs, and any other activity that you can imagine. Since there is not an overabundance of foreign students and visitors in Valladolid, it guarantees that learning the language progresses in an uninterrupted, natural way. 
One aspect that usually worries everybody embarking on an adventure like this is knowing what the food will be like. The food in Bayelid more than satisfies the most demanding taste buds and palate. There is a wide variety of dishes and the quality is exceptional. The people of Bayelid really enjoy their food and good nutrition is essential. If there is one thing besides speaking perfect Spanish they do extremely well is cooking and of course eating, eating tapas. In Bayerliv, you can find many restaurants with excellent menus at reasonable prices. It was an incredible year and such an unforgettable experience that I would recommend it to anybody. I want to go back very much. So I have planned a trip to Bayerliv with my family. I have told them so much about it that they are really looking forward to seeing the city for themselves. They want to see the buildings, the streets, the squares, the bridges, the museums. They don't want to miss anything. Fortunately, getting around by Italy is fast and easy, and there is lots to see and enjoy. It's a clean, well-lit city and very accessible. It's just one hour from Madrid via the high-speed train, delivering you to downtown by Italy. Isn't that incredible? I can't wait to go back. I believe that everyone who has lived in this great city carries a little piece of Valladolid in their heart. If I had to summarize my experience in Valladolid in one phrase, hmm, 100% Spanish.